You might need to pull out your sunglasses at night because there are some really bright stars in the sky this week. Except, they're not stars. WTTW News reporter Patty Wetley joins us now to explain. Hey Patty, so what are these non-stars that we're going to see in the sky over the next few nights? They're planets. Uh, Jupiter is up there uh, and it is almost as bright as the moon. It, after Venus and the moon, Jupiter is the brightest thing in the sky, and uh, it's going to appear brighter and bigger than usual uh, because it's closer to the Earth than it normally is. So that's, that's why we're going to be able to see Jupiter m uh, more so than on other nights? Yeah, it's in coming into something called opposition, where it's actually in Earth's side of the solar system directly opposite the sun. So ah. it's kind of Jupiter, the Earth sitting between Jupiter and the sun, and it's a lot closer than it normally is. So it looks a lot bigger to us. So the planets are aligning. Uh, so when's the <laughs> yeah. best time to be on the lookout? Um, so, so Jupiter will begin rising shortly after dusk, like midnight-ish on Thursday. Anytime, you know, sunset to sunrise, you should be able to see it. And I promise, I know we say a lot of these astronomical events, folks in the city will have a hard time, but this is one of those cases where if you can see the moon, you should be able to see Jupiter. All right, and, uh, and yeah, as I understand, we might be able to see Venus at the same yeah. time. How can yeah. we catch Venus? They're kind of like a teeter-totter. So Jupiter is gonna be going up as Venus is going down shortly after dusk. So if you can you know, see the horizon to the east and west, you should be able to catch both of them as one is going down and the other is coming up. So interesting. I will go outside, be on the lookout, and tune into yes. a WFMT as they no doubt will play some Gustav Holst as the right. soundtrack for, for our viewing. All right, Patty, looking forward to it. Thanks so much. Thanks, Paris. And you can read Patty's full story on our website where you'll find details on free events around the city to catch the action in the sky. It's all at WTTW.com news.